I don't know why I keep postponing doing something, what do you think is the cause of all this? Procrastination is the wisdom to not try to force something that you are not vibrationally ready for. Because if you have done the energy work, you would have be feeling it. But what procrastination is, is what aligned people do when they are not in the alignment. You don't try to force it, you don't try to make it happen, you understand that there is not enough action in the world to compensate for energy that is not moving. Yes, I feel it. Didn't you like how that just took you off the hook? Unless you are procrastinating about lining up your energy. Yeah, I do find that sometimes I am procrastinating about lining up my Boltons, but I don't know why. What would be the reason for that? The reason for that is, you are comfortable with negative emotions. Ah, uh, really? Less comfortable all along, but if there is momentum, and if you are not in flow of it, and when you are procrastinating, you are not there, it must mean that you have introduced resistance into the stream, and if you have then, you are feeling negative emotions and is not the dealing of procrastination. What does the procrastination feel like? Does it feel frisky? What does it feel like? What is the progress procrastination feel like? Let's put an emotion. It feels like you are stopped in time almost doing something. Procrastination feels like stuck. It feels like no momentum. It feels like you need to try harder. It feels effort. Exactly. It feels like not utilizing the energy that creates the world. That's exactly how it feels like. Our favorite procrastination story. Jerry said to Esther, you need to order the airline tickets, because the longer you wait the more the cost. And Esther said, I know I know. It's on the list. She just couldn't make herself place the call. She wanted to please Jerry more than life itself, but she couldn't make herself place the call. Then one night days later, she put herself in her bed and all over a sudden, she had such an impulse to place that call, she called the airline that they had frequently fly miles with and the woman said, how can I help you? And Esther told her, I have about 10 flight I would like to book. And the woman said, all right, let's see what we got. And then, she said, oh my goodness. Five minutes ago these flights were not here. Oh my goodness. And in a fraction of the time, that it usually takes one or two tickets, Esther booked 10 tickets. Because she waited for the feeling of alignment before she took the action. You'll see now. If Jerry had really been haranguing her, or if Esther had really been feeling guilty, she never would have found that alignment, but she found it on the heels of other positive thought. So our encouragement to you is, don't make yourself do anything that you don't want to do. I know you are worried that would bring the economy to a stop. But we promise you it would not, it would become more robust than ever, if you were making your actions because of the momentum of aligned energy, instead of trying to compensate for misaligned energy with action, that's how you sort of get in the habit of that you work harder than you are supposed to work, because you are back in current that you haven't cleaned up, and then you feel more discouraged in a sort of cycle. Wow. This is awesome. So, next time you find yourself saying, why am I procrastinating, instead reach for some aligning words, go general about it. What might you say? This must not be a good time. Things are always working out for me. When the time is right I will feel it. I really do want to get this done, I want to do inspired action. Yeah, yes. You can feel when you are in resistance or not in resistance, do you believe that you are an extension of source of energy? Absolutely. Do you believe that the source within you know who you are? Who you really are? Do you believe that the source within you is the vibration version of all that you have become? Yes. Do you believe that your inner being is pulsing that vibration constantly? Yes. Do you believe that if you are not doing that thing you do, that is resisting it that you will feel that calling? Yes. Do you understand that, that calling is the opposite of procrastination? Yes. So, the feeling of procrastination is really stepping on and off your path. Esther had an experience that was so powerful not long time ago, where she thought she was moving forward to something, and she became paralyzed. It wasn't just procrastination, it was like walls have present themselves for her to climb over or under or around. And the she thought, oh, wait, this doesn't feel like my path of least resistance. This feels like trying to make something happen that must not be in my vortex and that's exactly what it feels like. So, how do you get to this place where you believe that just doing something is better than doing nothing? Because it isn't. Yes, it isn't. Just doing for the sake of doing it. Have you ever just tried to stay busy? 
Yes, I have. I know that my inner being is aware of what the path of least resistance is, there is no virtual in the path of great resistance. Everything in nature flows with the path of least resistance. Everything flows. Gravity is about the flowing with resist with the path of least resistance. Yeah. Everything. Everything is about the path of least resistance, everything in nature is all about the path of least resistance. Why have I been so hard on myself? Why am I being so hard on myself? I shouldn't because I know. I intellectually know. We will tell you how you got this habit. It's because, somebody else felt like they need you to do something so that they would feel better. That usually how it happens. That's how you sort of got trained into that. Yeah, that. Yeah. And so you try to please them rather than aligning with your source. And if they knew the path it would be one thing, but they don't. They don't know your path but your inner being does. You say. Yes. Not good to know. So, have we just turned you all into lazy people? <laughs> the leverage of alignment trumps everything. It trumps everything. I never have experienced that. The leverage of alignment trumps everything. Answer. As you make yourself do fewer things out of requirement, and you feel the inspiration of wanting to do them. You are going to discover that the cooperative universe just makes it easier and easier and easier and easier. And ease, is a good thing. Ease is the path of least resistance. Stepping on that path, you reach the point where you can not only feel when you are stepping into your path, because of the power of it you can feel when you have stepped off it. So that those around you would think we'll of you. <laughs> don't wanna. Don't wanna chill, don't wanna look too comfortable, they will think you are lazy. <laughs> so, somebody accuses you of that. What are you doing? You say, the real work. <laughs> I'm doing the real work. What are you doing? I'm doing what really counts. What are you doing? I don't see you doing anything. You say, I'm aligning with an energy stream that is powerful. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't see you do anything. That's because you don't do this, you be this. This sounds like an excuse to just be lazy. What it is, is the path to everything that I want. Come sit by me and find the path. I will show you the way to everything you want. I will show you the way. Yeah. It really looks like you are going places. No. I'm not going anywhere everything is coming to me. Yeah. Everything is coming to me. Thank you.